All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about taking the facts that you've been paraphrasing and turning them into something really cool, which is going to be a short little story based on those facts. This is known as historical fiction. Now, this is important because in order to make your writing more interesting, you want to take those facts that you've been writing down on your stickies and you want to change them into something that's absolutely amazing. And one of the amazing ideas that you can do is to take those facts and form a short little story. Now, the story is going to include in some way the facts that you've been paraphrasing so that you can teach others about what you've actually learned. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, well, Mr. Taylor, how do I do this? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to look at one of the sections that you've taken sticky notes on. I'm going to use hunting in my example, but you might decide to do farming, you might, to do, you might decide to do fishing, maybe your section is on weapons. It's completely up to you which section you want to focus on. After you've picked your section, you want to take some facts that you think you could form into a really interesting short story. Now, let me show you some facts that I decided to use when it comes to hunting. So for example, Native Americans could feel the ground shake when buffalo were running through the prairie grasslands of the Great Plains. Many Native Americans wrote about that. They also used animal skins when hunting buffalo. Native Americans would then scare buffalo off of a cliff in order to kill them, and they would typically hunt in groups. Now, using those four facts, I'm going to try and imagine a situation based on those facts. So I'm going to think, okay, how could I form a story out of those facts? Once you have your idea, quickly just start writing and create a fictional story based on those facts. Look at the story I came up with. I've got two examples I want to show you. So here we go. Early in the morning, I can hear the excitement in our camp. I stretch as I make my way out of our teepee. Brother, have you heard? The men are getting ready to go on a buffalo hunt, said Sakari. Suddenly, the ground began to shake. Sakari and I instantly start to smile. The hunt means a chance for our tribe to have plenty of buffalo meat for several days. I got my wolf skin ready to join the others in the field. So notice here, what do we have? The ground shaking is something that was one of the uh, points I paraphrased, one of the facts that I learned about. Also, um, a TP being one of the things they lived in. That's based on another fact that I know. I also have the fact of them wearing animal skins or the wolf skin, and then joining others in the field would go with them hunting in groups. Let's see another situation now. I couldn't wait to get started. Today was my first buffalo hunt. My father, Dakota, had been getting me ready for weeks. We practiced how we would sneak up on the buffalo, what sounds we would make, and then how to position ourselves when we wanted to scare them towards the cliff. I could hear the buffalo in the distance. My heart began to shake as the ground around us began to tremble. My father helped me with my wolf skin. He gave me an encouraging smile and said, Don't worry, I know you've got this. His encouragement was helpful. I wasn't alone today, too. Several other sons were about to start their first uh, buffalo hunt as well. Would we be successful? So notice, again, I've got um, the first buffalo hunt. That's what I'm imagining. And then I've got the facts I talked about. Sneaking up on the buffalo, what sounds they might make, how to position themselves when they'd scare them off a cliff, his dad helping him with the wolf skin. All this is based on the sticky notes that I took. Notice, too, it's short. It's only about two or three paragraphs that I want you to work on today. So now it's your guys' turn. I want you first to decide what set of facts or in section you want to use that you've already done. Is it going to be on uh, farming? Is it going to be on fishing? Is it going to be on the geography? What do you want to focus on? Then, once you have your facts... The second step is imagine a, a situation around those facts that could actually occur. For example, a mother and her children planting crops together as their dad comes home from a hunt. 
Or maybe you do a situation where a father's explaining to his son how to fish for the first time using those techniques that you've learned about. Or maybe a couple's getting ready to show the other why they're ready for marriage. Remember how they had to do that, guys, where a hunt or where a husband, if he wanted to get married, had to show his wife he could be a good hunter. Uh, the wife had to show she could be a good homemaker. There's lots of ideas you could develop into an interesting small story. Once you have those facts, open your Google Doc that you've started and write down a quick story based on what you've imagined. I want you to spend about 15 minutes writing your story and then uh, once you actually decide what you're going to do and then I want you guys to post to Canvas so I can take a look at it. Okay? Remember, if you have any questions about this, there's a Google Meet at 1130 with Miss Weber. There's also a Google Meet with me at 2 o'clock. So if you have any questions, we can try to address them then.